And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well, before we do get into today's video as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Guys, in today's video of course we're going to be going over all the latest Rangers news from the last 24 hours, that includes today's headline as Chris Sutton has surprisingly lauded us and dubbed us as phenomenal. Yes, you're not uh, hearing things, he actually has, we're going to be discussing that a bit later on, but as stated, going over all the latest Rangers news from the last 24 Four hours. Of course, we're up against St. Johnston this weekend. Um, again, games coming thick and fast. Matches, we're going to be going straight back to sort of two matches. We, well, we have. We played Ross County midweek. But we're going to be going through uh, loads of matches, uh, two a week. Um, and, you know, the, the margin or the room for error is pretty much minute. We need to be keeping on making sure we're winning all our games um, that are up and coming. But our next, obviously, challenge is this Sunday against St. Johnston. Now, St. Johnston, as previously stated before, aren't the St. Johnston of a few years ago where, you know, they were, you know, fighting in with regards to the top six. You know, they have struggled recently. They do currently sit in 10th place at this moment in time. Um, and their last sort of, their form, if you like, there's, you know, one win in their last sort of five games. The last two games were defeats, of course, losing to Dundee, losing to Hearts. The last win coming against Ross County. Um, but, you know, Craig Levine, you know how he kind of sets his sides up. And certainly when the old firm is in town, teams do raise their game. There's no sort of secret to that. And we'll play, most likely, with two banks of five, just trying to play on the sort of counter and pick up scraps. But it's up to us to unlock. We show quality against Ross County that we can break down these teams, create a lot of chances. But that thing I want to see us now is be a bit more ruthless in front of goal. I don't feel we have a problem in creating chances, setting up chances for ourselves. It's just about finishing. And that's why that kind of striker question is always asked within the Rangers fan base. You're looking at Cyril Dess's stats at this moment in time, you're thinking, what striking issue? But if you watch the games like we as fans do, then you'll understand that Cyril Dess is, is um, as stated before, um, prime Ronaldo 9 in a few minutes of a game, but then looks like Kevin Carl in Division 3 in other moments of the game. So that's what we need to try and iron out. Um, we certainly need to be taking our chances and making sure we score more goals going forward. But yeah, St. Johnston is, of course, our next challenge. I fully expect us to get the three points. I'm demanding us to get three points. Uh, and then, guys, again, it's another game after that, another game after that, before, before long European football is going to return. Now, in other sort of news as well, Rangers, unsurprisingly, guys, of course, have been selected, well, the Scottish Cup quarter-final tie has been selected for TV coverage. The dates have been published, of course and the sort of timing on when kickoff is going to be. Um, we're going to be taking on Hibernian um, and of course that's going to be at Easter Road with a 5.30pm UK kickoff. It's going to be live on Via Play and as stated that's going to take place on Sunday the 10th of March. A lot of football to be played between then and then. Um, that's something we can worry about a bit later on but still I'm very very greedy this season um, which I didn't think I would be at the start of the campaign. I want us to win absolutely everything and the Scottish Cup is something that I do want us to take seriously um, and under Clement, I have absolute zero doubts that we won't or that we will take that one seriously. But yeah, just to uh, confirm to you there, guys, uh, Sunday, 10th of March, kickoff at 5:30 live on Via Play. So that one's kind of all sorted. No surprise as well. Just as I started to record this video, Rangers have confirmed that, of course, the old firm has been selected for TV coverage in the UK. Again, no surprise, almost no news, but yeah, that's been confirmed by the football club earlier on today. Also. Now, moving on to today's sort of headline, if you like, yes, Chris Sutton, obviously a pundit within the, the Scottish media that, you know, shows his distaste. He doesn't really like Rangers. We don't really like Chris Sutton that much either. Um, but as stated, he has came out and kind of lauded us in a recent um newspaper column and stated that we are phenomenal. Yes, let me get to this point and read exactly what he has said with regards to the title race 
and Rangers in general. He said, the one thing which Rangers can't afford to do, and I don't think they will, because I don't think the manager will allow them to do, is get complacent. Yes, we've seen them get complacent in previous seasons, but things can unravel quickly either way. You know, Rangers certainly haven't cracked it. I don't think Philippe Clement is saying that they have. Celtic certainly, their title dreams aren't over. Celtic haven't performed at the level this season, which they did so under Ange Postecoglou. That's clear, but it's level pegging. There are grumblings and rumblings going on at Celtic and the fan base aren't happy, or there's a certain section of the fan base aren't happy about various things, which we haven't got long enough to get into. They have to play each other twice and Celtic have defeated Rangers in the head-to-head -head game so far, but Rangers' comeback is pretty phenomenal. They're a different team. They've got a different attitude and a serious manager. So yeah, Chris Sutton actually saying anything good about us is usually quite a bit of a surprise. But as stated, you know, he has dubbed us as phenomenal and stated that, you know, kind of that the fire is with us at this moment in time, the momentum's with us at this moment in time. Um, and I do, you know, stand by that. I do believe that we have enough to win the title. I do have enough, uh, I do have enough faith in us to go on and actually win a treble this year. I've actually put my money where my mouth is um, and betted a few of my Celtic supporting friends are stated I don't have many of them but you know sometimes you have a few of them not by choice they've kind of been your friends over the years but I've um, yeah stated that we're going to win at least three tra uh, trophies this year one down two to go it's a big money bet I think we've done uh, 200 pounds for each friend so 400 pounds potentially on the line um, so hopefully getting that in through the door uh, come the end of the um come the end of the campaign um, but yes as stated guys I think we can make a real dent in Europe and go and win uh, the title and most importantly this, uh, most importantly and uh, the Scottish Cup and as stated do well in Europe but most importantly guys the league is something I think the fan base want the most at this moment in time it's the, the trophy that I want to see us win again um, out of every single trophy that actually is so far yes probably mm. Maybe Europa League, of course, would rather us win than the Scottish Premiership, but I just feel that's the more um, easier route, the more believable route, the more um, achievable route uh, to go on and win the Scottish Premiership. And with this new Champions League format next season, being dubbed that there's potentially 60 million quid laying there under this new Champions League league phase, different way of playing eight games across um, from September to January load of money to be to be played for but also a real chance to actually qualify into the knockout phases of this new Champions League setup which I'd absolutely love uh, one of the founding fathers of the Champions League to be um, there or thereabouts uh, next season but again we need to do this first and that's win the title and just take every single game as it comes um, and I do believe and have the faith that we can do it um, but yeah Rangers fans that's all I've got for you today. Do let me know your thoughts with regards to Chris Sutton um, and his thoughts on us and, and you know his praise that he's kind of gave the football club. Um, also, let me know your score predictions ahead of the game against St. Johnston down there in the comment section below. Um, and as stated, that brings us to the end of today's video, guys. As always, please do smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.